Om Shanti. Welcome to yesterday's God of Blessing. My physical body condition did not allow me to record it yesterday, but I'm feeling much better physically today. Mentally and emotionally, I'm perfectly fine. But physically, I'm much better today. So let's go ahead with the 6th of May. That is yesterday's God of Blessing and then we're going to do today's God of Blessing recording. So God talks about three things. To be loving towards the Yajna. See, God has come on this earth to change the world from hell into heaven. From Kalyuk into Satyuga. It's a Yuga Parivartan, but not just Yuga Parivartan, it's complete Kalpa Parivartan. That means 5,000 years. Satyuk Treta, Dwapar Kalyuk. Golden Age, Silver, Copper, Iron Age has come to an end and it's time to restart the cycle. So for that, God descends on earth because no human being or no human preceptor can do that work other than God himself. That's why it's been mentioned even in the Bible that the Lord shall descend. Now, whom we consider as Lord, Lord means Malik, Malik of the world shall descend and he shall come in the last hours and change the world. That's been mentioned even in Bhagavad Gita, Yada Yada Hi, Dharmasiklan and Bhagavad Gita, that will, I will descend on this earth and I will change this world. And he changes this world with not just one Arjun, but with a lot of Arjuns who take his knowledge, divinity and change themselves for the changing world. Now that's what God says that you have to be loving towards the Yajna. This yagya has been kept for that purpose only. And what is the purpose? The purpose is to change hell into heaven. In yagya we put everything, we do swaha. And here also it's time to do swaha of all the things. So yagya seva means what? And that's what we want to understand today. Yagya is about swaha. That means you burn away the things. We generally put things in yagya. We put material things. But here God is talking about to give away the lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment so that we can enter into heaven on earth because he's creating heaven on earth. Whether we are prepared or not, heaven is going to be created. So God says, may you be loving to the yagya and accumulate all three types of service with your thoughts, words and actions in your account of accumulation. Bab Dada has the accounts of accumulation of three types of service of all the children. <coughs> Those who are loving to the yagya Always cooperate in doing service with their thoughts, words and actions and with their bodies, mind and wealth. So there are 100 marks for each account. Now who is keeping the marks? The Supreme Creator is keeping the marks. If someone has a duty of serving with words, thus you are supposed to give some kind of talk to others, their percentage of serving with thoughts and actions should not be less. Should not mean that okay, I am the one who gives lectures, so I am greater, and you all do the menial work. Though there is no menial work in this, everything is important. You have to do even physical work. Get the mic, get the speakers, sit down, make the stage, prepare it, and then talk. Also, a part of doing service includes physical service also. Why should other people prepare the stage for you? Think about it. Then God says, their percentage of serving with thoughts and actions should not be less. Serving with words is easy. But serving with the mind is a matter of paying attention. That means your mind should be clean and clear. And serving with actions is not just physical service, but also interacting and connecting with those in a gathering is also accumulated in the accounts of actions. What does that mean? Serving with actions is not just physical service, but also interacting and connecting with those in a gathering. So it doesn't mean that you're moving things around in the center or you're moving things around in your house, cleaning things around in your house, but your interaction with people in your house also. And Brahma Kamari center is also house. Your own physical house is also house. How do you interact with people? Whether your interactions are as per God's guidance or your interactions are as per the satanic guidance, that also decides whether you're accumulating marks or your marks are being deducted in God's words. So yes, it's mentioned in Quran that up there, there's a khata or there's a book where you know, just like a projector, projects the screen onto the wall, but you cannot touch the screen. Similarly, there is a screen up there where everything is being written down that what you are doing physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, your thoughts, your words, your actions, wealth, mind, your body, how much are you utilizing for seva. And that's what God says that it is not just physical service, also how you interact with people, how you keeping relationships with people is also very important. So, this knowledge helps you to make your life simpler and better even in your workplace, your house, your business and you can help other souls to invest in your business, invest in your workplace 
be invested in your home keeping your home together by being involved mentally emotionally physically tan man dhan that means your bodily your mentally and even your wealth financially and that's what god is teaching us over here he is making us more powerful more stronger to become somebody who can do that you can also come over and learn this beautiful art of serving your house serving your workplace serving yourself in all these three aspects and earn the marks of god om shanti utes